Hello Android gamers, today I'm going to show you how to play Quake 1 on your Android device. First off, go to the Google Play Store and download and install this great free app. This is Quake 1 for Android, a source port. You'll also need to have the Quake 1 game installed on your computer. First get it on your Android device, then get it installed on your computer. Next up, locate that data you installed onto your computer. I put it in a nice easy to find location. I put it into C, Games, and Quake 1. Look for the ID1 folder. This contains all the information that we're interested in. Once we've located this, plug in your Android device. On our Android device, we're going to create a new folder and copy this folder into that folder. Open it up. We're going to put it into the root storage into the internal memory. This will be the location that opens up by default when you plug in the USB cable. In this location, create a new folder. Call this folder QI4A. Open up this folder and copy all the Quake data into this folder. Once all this data is copied over, we're ready to run the game from our Android device and start playing it. Now let's try it on our Android device. Now that all our game data is transferred over to our Android device and we have the app installed from here in the Play Store, we're ready to start it up and play some Quake 1. You can either open it here or from the link on your home screen. Here's the first screen you're going to see. In this line here, we can change where the game data goes and put it onto our SD card instead of our internal memory. Here's the controls menu. I'll be using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard with these options here. But regularly, you'll have to configure on-screen controls. The default will look like this. This bar here will show and hide more options. You can drag them up onto the screen and configure it any way you want. The last menu, you can tweak up the graphics a little. I'm going to be using 32-bit color. Once you've got everything to your liking, you can run the game and play some Quake. Here's the classic Quake 1 intro. Huge nostalgia value. I'll note that Trent Reznor did the original soundtrack for Quake 1. It was one of the best game soundtracks ever, probably the best. Still got it in my music collection, but you're not hearing it here. You'll notice throughout the game, the nails for this particular gun are in 9-inch nails boxes with a little logo on it and everything. You can see it right there. Let's try it out. Now I'm running this on an HP touchpad. That's a dual core device with one gig of memory. You can expect similar performance on any dual core device and it's fully playable with on-screen controls or the Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Just incredible level design in these classic games. Same author has Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 3, Turn to Castle Wolfenstein, and Doom 3 apps. You can check them all out. I have videos on all of them.
just the little Nine Inch Nails, Nails boxes. Some of the classic elements that made Quake great. All the little secrets. As you can see, performance is pretty awesome. Any dual core device, you can expect to see this kind of performance. That's a free app. Pretty awesome to see. Go leave a little feedback. Once in a while, you get a donate button pop up. I want to buy the developer a cup of coffee if you enjoy playing this as much as I do. Huge nostalgia value. Please subscribe to see the latest in retro gaming and like the video. Got plenty more videos on games from this author. Check them out in the description.